Coach, a tough weekend, two narrow losses to Duke and North Carolina in the Duke-Nike Classic Tournament. Uh, two very close games. How did they go from your perspective? I thought we played really well. Uh, Friday night we were a bit unfortunate in the first eight minutes, but then I thought defensively we were very, very good. Um, and, and we knocked the ball pretty well, created some, some good looks. And uh, as, it, as it is, uh, the game of soccer sometimes is a bit unlucky. Um, and I, but I thought we played really well and showed well. Two great teams played. Uh, that night. And then uh, on Sunday, you know, we got out to a great start. Um, it, was a, it was a little bit warm for us. We started to, to uh, lose ground in the middle of that game, but I thought we closed really, really well. Um, we, again, unfortunate, hit a crossbar late. Um, in both games, we, we had some late chances, but uh, all in all, it was a really good weekend, um, one that will definitely prepare us for the rest of the season. And that seems to be a thing right now, is having tons of good offensive chances, just not finding the back of the net what are some things you could do to try to change that? Uh, you know, I, I, I think we, we just have to kind of keep grinding through it. Um, your luck's going to change a little bit. You've got to continue to make your luck by creating uh, decent chances. And one day it's going to roll in the net for you, and then I think uh, the floodgates will open. But for us, it's, it's getting quality repetition and uh, working our way to the, to the frame. Um, we're doing some good things. We just got to stay encouraged and keep, keep grinding it out. On the positive side, Morgan Andrews and Kayla Mills were named to the all-tournament team. How good have they been so far? Kayla was absolutely unbelievable this weekend. I thought both sides of the ball, she was very impactful. Um, her tackling was, was way up. Um, she, she was getting forward for us, putting some great services into the box. Um, even in the second game, as the game grinded down and fatigue set in, she was, she was really um, pushing forward. But Morgan, Morgan is uh, making her way into the team pretty well. Um, uh, we still have a couple of things we got to work on with her, but she's so impactful, creating qu quality chances for us. I mean, she had a bike in the first game, which was pretty spectacular in itself, just missed over the bar. Um, but she's been a bit snake bit um, as far as the scoring front goes. So um, I know she wants more out of her play, but she's been playing pretty well. Well, after five games on the road to start the season, you finally come home this weekend, Friday and Sunday against San Diego and Long Beach State. What do you need to do to get a result from those two games? Well, first of all, we're going to feed off the energy of, of our home fans. Um, playing on the road sometimes can be, be a grind. We had some great support in North Carolina, and, and I thank them for showing up. Um, but it's going to be nice to have a few more home fans and, and friendly faces in the crowd for us. But um, as far as our play, I think we've been playing well. I think our defense has given us a chance to, to win every game. Um, we've got to continue to, to ride that through um, while we while we work on uh, scoring goals. And I think um, something about familiarity and being at home and that energy that the weekend will produce um, will hopefully give us the results we're looking for.